Hello, what is up y'all? Welcome back. My name is Kay and welcome to your live feed recaps. Right now we are smack dab in the middle of week four. The leftovers are in charge, but there are still a lot of things fluctuating in this game and I am ready to talk about it. Before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button below just so you can stay updated on Big Brother as we finish up the season. Now, let's begin. So when we last left off, Alyssa and Indy were on the block but the leftovers plan was actually to get them off the block in order to put up Nicole and Taylor instead, of course, with the intentions of sending home Nicole. Well, this past week, that plan has indeed changed. Kinda, but not really. Let me explain. So initially, the leftovers really, really wanted to keep their alliance a secret, right? Taylor was supposed to be acting sad and isolated still all week, and they weren't really supposed to be meeting up in big groups. But with Monty being the HOH this week, the leftovers got pretty comfortable pretty quickly. You see, damn near every night this week, they've been having really long game meetings in the HOH room, and some of their fellow house guests are really starting to notice. There was this really funny conversation at the beginning of the week, where four of the leftovers were having this really intense game conversation in the have not room. Alyssa ends up walking in on this conversation and it got very much awkward. And they're all right here. So yeah, the others are definitely starting to catch on. Saturday was the day of the veto comp, and we are going to find out that Kyle and Daniel are the winners of that competition and now have the power of veto. Now, according to the Fessy Bestie rules, all it takes is for one person to want to play the veto in order for it to get used. And so theoretically, if either Kyle or Daniel wants the veto to get played, it'll get played no matter what the other one wants. And at first, Daniel is actually really hesitant to use the veto. After seeing Amira get blindsided last week, him and Nicole have been super sketched out all week about what is going on in the house and where the votes might lie. On the other side of the house, the leftovers have been plotting all week on how to stay safe all the way to the final seven. They're really worried about the Festy Bestie twist putting their alliance at risk. See, strategy-wise, it's best for their game if each leftover is partnered with somebody who isn't a leftover. That way, there would never be two leftovers on the block against each other. Right now, Michael and Brittany are the most vulnerable, since they would be sitting against each other on the block if they were ever nominated. If Nicole is evicted this week and Taylor has to choose between Monty, Joseph, or Terrence to partner with, since that's the only group of three, she would choose Terrence, but that would leave Joseph and Monty vulnerable along with Brittany and Michael. So then technically that would be two sets of leftovers that are vulnerable. For this reason, the leftovers decide that it's best not to use the power of veto and to actually leave Alyssa and Indy on the block. Alyssa would be the target, and then they would want to convince Indy to become besties with either Joseph or Monty. That way, Brittany and Michael would still be vulnerable, but that's it. Did y'all get that? It's a pretty layered move, but honestly, I don't think that's going to be what's best for their games. Especially since there's no guarantee how the Fessy Bestie partners will actually be chosen this time around. They're kind of acting on a hunch and nothing is really guaranteed, so it's just a pretty risky play for the leftovers. Still though, with this being the plan, Monty is gonna go up to Daniel and Nicole on Monday morning to try to convince Daniel not to use the power of veto. Monty's excuse pretty much is that he thinks Jasmine and Indy and some of the other girls are sus and that they might actually vote to evict Nicole, which really isn't true. Daniel and Nicole, however, are not buying this at all. Remember what I said earlier about the leftovers having game meetings until really late at night? Well, like I was saying, the rest of the house has noticed, and right now Daniel and Nicole are convinced that they know who's all working together. Now, I will give Daniel and Nicole some credit because they do have most of it figured out, 
but the key element they're missing is Kyle. They don't think Kyle is in on this at all, so their numbers are wrong. Since they are counting Kyle as a number on their side, they really truly think that Nicole does have the votes to stay this week, which we all know she does not. For this reason, Daniel decides that he absolutely 100% will be using the power of veto this week. Little does he know though, he just sealed his own partner's fate. Mm -mm -mm. After the veto ceremony, we see that the veto has indeed been used and Nicole and Taylor are on the block after all. The leftovers do in fact have the numbers, so we should be saying bye to Nicole this week after all. We fans may be in for a third blind side of the season because right now, Nicole is 1000% sure that she is safe this week in this game. Because now we are the larger number in the house. Me, you, Daniel, Kyle, Alyssa, Indy, Jasmine. That's seven people. That's more than half the house as a jury. Right. Seeing Nicole get evicted over Taylor may just be the cherry on top of this fantastic week. This week has been pretty straightforward so far. I mean, the original plan is still in place, but personally, I for one am glad that we really, really might be getting a third blind sight at the end of this week instead. That makes me super excited. So of course, I'm interested to know what do you all think about The Leftovers' messy ass strategy? Are you happy with these nominations or do you think it should be Alyssa and Indy on the block instead? Let me know in the comments below. I will give you guys any more updates if anything has changed, but until then, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!